Every film has its fair share of deleted scenes, and while most of the time they tend to be inconsequential, from time to time, a movie can actually be ruined by leaving the wrong moments on the cutting room floor. Here's a look at some major releases whose editing put a major dent in everyone's enjoyment. The Golden Compass After the astounding critical and commercial success of Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy in the early 2000s, New Line Cinema tried to recapture that glory with another fantasy trilogy, Philip Pullman's Dark Materials. It didn't work, since you probably forgot this movie ever even existed. The studio hired screenwriter Chris White to helm an adaptation of the first novel in the trilogy, The Golden Compass, starring Daniel Craig, Nicole Kidman, and newcomer Dakota Blue Richards. But it was the material that White decided to leave out of his adaptation that sealed the franchise's fate. The book's fans faulted White for his decision to exclude the novel's overt themes of questioning religion by hiding them in metaphors. The film lost the novel's essence along the way, and was widely ridiculed for softening a major component of the story in order to cater to a wider audience. Furthermore, in order to accommodate a shorter runtime, White had to cut out an estimated hour from his original screenplay. Most these scenes featuring the story's protagonist, Lyra. With no support from the fans and general audiences, left scratching their heads, this would-be trilogy was unsurprisingly halted after a single chapter. Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice There's no denying that the DC Extended Universe has been successful at the box office, however there's also no getting around the criticisms that have greeted these movies, particularly 2016's Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Fans and critics alike blasted the movie for its haphazard editing and confused plot, which still resulted in a 151-minute punch extravaganza. In fact, even with over two and a half hours worth of film, many felt several plot lines and characters were underdeveloped. When editing David Brenner confirms that the original cut was almost four hours long, it became clear that the theatrical version really was as undercooked as it seemed. Shortly after the movie's release, the studio released an R-rated Ultimate Edition, which added an additional 30 minutes of footage. Critics have said the extended version is a drastic improvement, expanding upon Lex Luthor's role and Clark Kent's investigation. Maybe Zack Snyder will learn his lesson and make the Justice League movie the full 14-hour epic we all know it needs to be. That was sarcasm, by the way. That would be awful. Suicide Squad After the critical disappointment that came with Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, fans hoped Suicide Squad would be a turning point for the DC Extended Universe. Too bad it still earned more than its share of critical scorn. The unhappiest critic of all? That was Jared Leto, who played the movie's new take on the Joker. Although he doesn't appear too much in the final cut, Jared Leto claimed to have filmed an entire movie's worth of footage as the Joker. And considering that Batman's arch nemesis was such a big draw in the first place, plenty of people were disappointed when the filmmakers relegated him to the background, so much so that some fans have actually attempted to sue the studio. Warner Brothers' extended cut of Suicide Squad added another 13 minutes to the runtime, shining more light on the relationship between the Joker and Harley Quinn. As to whether we'll ever get to see the rest of the Joker footage that Leto shot is a mystery that not even Batman can solve. Nightbreed Based on the 1988 novel Cabal by director-slash-author Clive Barker, Nightbreed follows mental patient Aaron Boone, who believes he's a serial killer, as he runs from the police and joins a group of recluse monsters known as, that's right, the Nightbreed. Since he wrote both the source material and the script, Barker had a clear vision, one the executives at 20th Century Fox didn't share. They wanted a slasher film with scary monsters, and that wasn't what Barker delivered with his two-and-a-half-hour cut. In response, the studio ordered a series of reshoots shoots and cut almost an hour out of the final product. In the end, Nightbreed was a critical and commercial failure. Though it did achieve cult status among hardcore horror fans, it wasn't until 2014 that a director's cut saw release, running 20 minutes longer than the theatrical version and featuring 40 minutes of altered or unseen footage. Daredevil Mark Steven Johnson's Daredevil from 2003 received mixed to negative reviews during its theatrical run, but was still moderately successful, becoming the second highest grossing February release at the time. Shortly afterward, Johnson put together a director's cut, which was released the following year. It included additional footage that had been excised from the theatrical version, as well as an entire subplot featuring a drug addict named Dante Jackson, played by none other than Coolio. And, as we learned from the sci-fi original movie Pterodactyl, the present of Coolio can elevate just about anything. You know, we could be famous or something. That, that was out of. Can that nonsense now, soldier? Thank you. While the director's cut went unnoticed by most, the few who saw it agreed that it turned what was once a mess into a compelling story. 
Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, who served as producer on the film, has gone on record saying, I think the people who had other opinions will be won over by this new version. Perhaps if Johnson's cut of the film released in theaters instead, moviegoers might have had a different initial opinion of Ben Affleck when Warner Brothers cast him as the new Batman. And maybe we'd all be waiting in line for the latest installment of Coolio's Dante Jackson spin-off franchise. Fantastic Four In 2015, Josh Trank's Fantastic Four remake released to overwhelming critical discontent, with the movie-winning Razzies for Worst Director, Worst Remake, Worst Screenplay, and Worst Picture. Much of the film's issues have been pinned on Trank, though he's claimed an exceptional cut of the film does indeed exist, but we'll never see it. One day prior to the movie arriving in the theaters, Trank took to Twitter and responded to the critical backlash, saying, A year ago I had a fantastic version of this, and it would have received great reviews. You'll probably never see it. That's reality though. Although many people would consider Trank's tweets to be the rumblings of a disgruntled director, Toby Kebbell, who plays the villain Doctor Doom, attested to the same thing, telling the Daily Beast, I tell you, the honest truth is, Trank did cut a great film that you'll never see. That is a shame. A much darker version, and you'll never see it. As for what we can see, the wig Kate Mara wore during the movie's reshoots. So you know, win some, lose some. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love.